basic principles and apply them to my life. I shall be victorious in all my endeavors. Amen. Come on and go with me if you will to the big day. Y'all need to hear it back. I don't know how this going to go. Go with me if you will to Leviticus, the 26th chapter, verses 3 through 5. Leviticus, 26th chapter, verses 3 through 5. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then will I give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And your threshing shall reach unto the vintage, and the vintage shall reach unto the sowing time, and ye shall eat your bread to the full, and dwell in your land safely. Job 36, 26 through 28 reads as this one. Behold, God is great, and we know him not, neither can the number of his years be searched out. For he maketh small the drops of water, they pour down rain according to the vapor thereof, which the clouds do drop and distill upon man abundantly. The last scripture that we want to look at is Malachi 3.10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now here with seven long hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. We want to speak from the subject, can you stand the rain? All right. When we look at life, it seems that as badly as we need rain, we never really seem to be prepared for the rain. Um, but if we don't have rain in our lives, our crops will go dry. And there will be nothing to eat. Uh, if we don't have rain, we won't be able to bathe ourselves. Without rain falling on the physical earth, we will not be able to carry our life in which the way in which we do not. But there's something about being prepared when the rain comes. Um, here we find in this book of Leviticus, it says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then will I give you rain in due season. So what is God saying? God says that if you obey me and do the things that I've commanded you to do, watch this, he says, in due season, I'll send rain. Why is it that so many of us are waiting on God to do something and we want God to do it right now? Do you know you got to wait in order for God to really do what you need him to do? Because right now you're not ready right. and you can't handle it. Has anybody ever gotten a, 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 a fairly decent sum of money today and within the next two or three days you ain't got nothing? It's because you weren't ready to receive what you got. Has anybody ever had a circumstance in your life where when you look back on that situation, the only thing you can say, oh, if I had it to do all over again, I'd do it much more differently. It's because you were not ready for the rain when it came in your life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so that's why God says, then will I give you rain in due season. And the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Why don't trees grow fruit all the time? Because if trees grew fruit all the time, you never know what season it was. And I don't know about you, but I'm waiting on my season. Yes, and you know what? Sometimes we can live life so fast and so quickly that your seasons will pass you by. 